Crews have been busy all day dealing with a train derailment. Look at that. It was uh, in Iron County, a couple miles outside of the town of Lund. The people on board survived, but as new specialist Andrew Adams found out, weather made for a dicey night on the tracks. Andrew? Really did, Dini. I mean, you look at this and you're like, how on earth did this happen? Well, investigators say a storm cell, a powerful storm cell pushed through, left a major problem behind it. Well, Chopper, uh, Chopper 5 captured these images earlier today. What a mess. The red stuff, we're told, is diesel fuel. Initially, sheriff's deputies said there was some belief that there potentially was something explosive on board the train, but Union Pacific came back later and said absolutely not the case no explosives on the train deputies say the train was headed northbound at about 60 miles per hour last night when it appears the tracks were wiped out by the storm and as that came through uh, brought down a lot of water it was funneled into uh, a canyon area which then came towards the tracks uh, estimating that that uh, wall of water was approximately a quarter mile wide uh, when it started to hit the tracks we're told the locomotive turned over three people inside. The one person who got it the worst suffered a head wound. They're all able to climb out, uh, climb out of the train, get on top, and ride out the floodwaters. All three were taken to the hospital, but deputies say they are doing better today. Union Pacific has been busy all day trying to clean this up, get on top of it. Of course, everything under investigation here, and we're understanding that the NTSB is brought in, has been brought in as well to take a look at what exactly went wrong last night. Thank yeah, you. Andrew, you can get an idea of the water involved just by the puddles and the mud left behind. Crazy to see. Yeah, it is. Thanks. Mm -hmm.